Right over here is an iMac G5. I've had for quite a while now. It's been about a year since I first got it. And, um, it didn't work when I first got it. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and tip it over and show you what was wrong with it. So here's the back of it. Most people who don't like Apple products say that they're not very easily accessible. Yeah, right, okay. Of course, that was already unscrewed, but you get the point. So, here's the computer. There were a few things wrong with it. These two capacitors right here, and there were a few over here as well, were bulged and bursting. So, I took this entire thing apart, unsoldered those capacitors, and got some new ones. And it sat around for a while before I actually decided to do anything with it. Like, a year before I actually decided to um, fix it, which was yesterday. I finally soldered the capacitors in. I wish I took a video on doing that, but um, unfortunately I didn't. So I soldered those capacitors in, and they're now completely fine. I made sure I got the right ones and stuff. Uh, I put it back together. I had to kind of look around for the parts, since the parts have been out of this computer for about a year. So, let's go over the specs for a minute. It's got a... I think the processor's like under here. I'm guessing. It's a 1.8 gigahertz like power PC something. Something, I don't know. It only has 512 megabytes of RAM at the moment, but I'm going to put a gig in it, and I might upgrade it to 2. Um, I was I put a small amount of RAM in it to test it. So It even has a wireless card in it, so you can uh, wireless internet and all that cool stuff. 80 gigabyte hard drive for Mac OS 10.4, and um, that's pretty much that. So I'm going to put the backing on it and show you what happened when I tested it out. So it's all plugged in. When I first tried testing this computer before I had repaired it, it didn't work at all. Like I didn't do anything, it just sat there. And fans were at a really high RPM, it didn't do anything, but look at it, I fixed it. And so you're probably thinking, whoop de doo you fix a seven-year-old computer, that's great. This thing's actually worth like up to $150, so I mean, it's pretty cool to me. Most likely going to sell it. All I have to do is um, find a way to um, reinstall Mac OS 10.4 on it, so it doesn't have any files on it. I need to replace the CMOS battery on it because my time is set 2001. Power shoot. I don't get it. Okay. But yeah, look at that. It's pretty cool. It is from, as I said, 2004. There are specs, as I said. 1.8 gigahertz Power Mac or Power PC rather G5, 512 megs DDR SD RAM. As I said, that's not as much as I'm going to put in there. I'm going to put um, at least a gig. So, little side note: I actually, in case you haven't seen my videos before, I actually like just got a brand new iMac, I got a 2011 21.5 inch 2.7 gigahertz version, and I have an unboxing of that in my channel. Uh, let's see. It's pretty cool. All this cool stuff. So this computer, as I said, is from 2004. So I think it's a pretty good computer for being seven years old. Like, Mac OS 10.4 is actually pretty good. Certainly much better than XP, which was what Windows had out, out at the time. But yeah, that's pretty much what's going on with this iMac G5 I've got here that I managed to fix. So, I'm quite happy about this. Um, 
I'm most likely going to sell it if I figure out how to reinstall Mac OS 10.4 on it um, to get rid of any excess files. But, um, yeah, so, see you guys later.